we are now at Abu Ghosh, which is uh, more likely was Kiryat Yarim. Kiryat Yarim, that was the place that the art of the government uh, was in it for at least 20 years. It was taken back from the Philistines and on the way to Jerusalem, you've been here in the house of Elazar. And King David came um, came to here, took it to that uh, Jewish temple, uh, actually to Jerusalem. Temple wasn't there at that time. Um, that place was a Byzantine church. It'd been destroyed a few times and it actually was forgotten until the 19th century. In the 19th century, um, one of the nuns came to here and lately she built that um, amazing nunnery uh, in that area, uh, which is, uh, exists until today. Uh, is, uh, that place is a Catholic place dedicated to Mary. And Mary was the art of the government. And here the art was too. Why Mary is the art of the government? Very easy. She carry God himself. Then you can see here Mary watching Jerusalem and uh, the ark. And she's standing on the ark. I want you to see it from the other side and don't, 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 don't go away because after that we will enter to that amazing and simple church as well. Then please stay with me. If you look at that, you can see Mary on the ark. You can see the crew in the angels on both sides watching the um, uh, to the north and to the south. Beautiful, isn't it? Ah, she's watching, just like you now, through Jerusalem. You can see the olive trees nearby, and the area of Jerusalem is right there. Let's go into the church. Again, beautiful church, a simple one, but uh, I love that place. It's so calm and beautiful. Um, from uh, time to time, there are recitals here, part of a, fe a big festival of Abu Ghosh. Abu Ghosh today it's an Arabic village, and it's famous because of uh, the best hummus restaurants here. Now it's coronavirus, COVID-19, then I'm the only one here, together with two of my friends, two of my colleagues. Then let's go in. And the first thing that you will see is, uh, you will see it, you will see it. Yes. The, hol the holy water of uh, coronavirus COVID-19. And the holy water. What you can see here is the Byzantine um, floor. The church is only from the 1920. And you can see King Michael and John Michael and King David. And beautiful to see that King David is reading from the, hello, Ten Commands, Ark in Arabic. And uh, Trinity is above, above it. It's belonged to a French order. And if you will add up from the main power, main entrance, that's what you're going to see. A very simple basilic. The light comes from the roof, from the sun, from God himself. It's so strange to be here alone. It's Christmas time, then Merry Christmas to you. You can see here the nativity. Jesus is not there yet, but he will be. Here, you can see a small chapel, and you can see that the sacrament is already there, then I will do this quietly. But you can see the Byzantine mosaic as well and the tomb of the foundation. Josephine Rump is here together with others. 
it's very common to have some cemeteries and the tombs of holy people that devoted to that church. Beautiful, isn't it? Simple. Oh, you didn't see the roof here. And the most beautiful roof. And this is kind of uh, opposite to the white walls. Uh, the roof of the church with angels and a cross in between. Even the 14 station of the Via della Rosa are marked with small crosses, as you can see. Another part of the Byzantine uh, mosaic, and we believe that the altar of the Byzantine church was here. At least the stone is from that altar. And it's beautiful to see that there is only one simple Latin cross here. So simple and so calm. We believe that it was built on top of the, I don't know if it's a temple, but it's a uh, very holy site uh, that kept the Bible, the out of the government before we reached Jerusalem. Or some people actually say that it was built before that as a holy site. And in the eighth century BC, it was totally one of the most important places. And um, uh, maybe Yerobam, one of the kings of Israel, was here. That was part of Ephraim, part of the uh, tribe of Ephraim, which was part of Israel. Remember, Judea, it's Jerusalem. And this is Ephraim. We don't know the truth. We're just now excavating here by Filkenstein. I'm sure that soon we will know better about it. Um, it's more than just a church. Such a beautiful place, isn't it? If you like that video and you want to watch more of my uh, videos of the Holy Land, I have more than 18,000 videos. Subscribe my channel, ask me whatever you want. If I know the answer, I will answer it. If I want, I will look for an answer. Thank you very much. See you in my next video.